What's going on? I am back with another Ingmar Bergman review, and today we have Shame. Shame was released in 1968. Yes, it shares the same name as my favorite film of all time, but is not the 2011 version which with Michael Fassbender, directed by Steve McQueen III, which is my favorite film of all time. This is Ingmar Bergman's Shame from 1968, Skamen in uh, Swedish, and this stars Liv Ullman, which was, or I mean, who starred in the last film that I reviewed, and Max von Sydow, and they play a couple uh, living in this small uh, farmhouse in Sweden, in kind of war-torn, uh, in a war-torn village anyway, there's a, there's a civil war going on. I didn't, I, I was confused on whether this film took place in <clears throat> the World War II era, because it was released in 68, but uh, it never mentioned taking place you know, back in the 40s, or, uh, and it clearly, obviously, didn't take place in Vietnam during the Vietnam War, so, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's about a civil war, this couple is living, trying to live their quiet life, and they wanted children, but they find it a very difficult time to be having them for obvious reasons, and, um, they're kind of trying to live a mundane life, and trying to kind of somewhat be, uh, indifferent to the wars and terrors that are going on until their village is attacked or their kind of small town area, whatever you want to call it, their county, is attacked and bombed and uh, invaded by uh, soldiers, kind of at the end of the first act-ish. And uh, basically it's just them struggling with, with farm life and... Um, there's a character introduced, a colonel, uh, named uh, Jacobi, and he's played by Gunnar Bjornstrand, who shows up in a lot of previous um, Ingmar Bergman films that I've watched. And he kind of uh, uses his power against them, so he has the power to take them to like a work camp or a concentration camp, but he bribes them and blackmails them a lot with uh, gifts and such. Uh, for, you know, like, uh, keeping them from being arrested, basically. He, um, he, he, he agrees to, like, not snitch on them if they do him favors kind of thing. And he becomes kind of a strain on their lives, um, throughout the film. But, uh, I don't know how to feel about this one. This is... One of the first that I actually don't even know what to rate it um, because I did find it a little bit slow paced and quite boring at times, especially for its themes. Like, I thought that a lot more could be done with the characters, um, but at the same time, it was extremely well shot. And, um, like, the there was some tense, like, tense um, situations there. Um, it's also a very sad film, like, um, very unfortunate things that happen to people who don't deserve it, and, um, kind of plays that card where you don't know really who's good and who's evil, like, everyone's kind of a mix of both in certain ways, um, especially, uh, the husband character, um, John, John played by Max von Sydow. Um, you never really know what to think about him and the decisions he makes, but then again, uh, Colonel Jacobi is pretty much the real villain of the film, you could say, but he has his own <laughs> bag of, uh, baggage coming along with him, but I don't know, it's a hard, it's a hard film to dissect, it's, it, I think it's one that I'll have to watch a few times, um, but, uh, but it was, I don't know. Like I said, I'm pretty I'm pretty indifferent to this whole film, to be honest. I, I'm really having a hard time to uh, really know how I feel about it kind of thing. So, it is what it is. Um, another black and white one, as most of his are. I think he only has maybe two films or maybe three films that are not black and white. But, um, yeah... Yeah, that's about um, that's about all I got on this one without getting too like spoiler heavy, 
Um, it's it's definitely a war central film that involves um, not corruption, but it, it it it's a film that really shows how civil war can affect specific people's lives and um, the struggles that a couple goes through in many different formats with uh, being, you know, arrested and interrogated, especially, and, um, and bribed for things, you know, against their will and uh, what, um, what they'll do to, what they'll do for survival and what they'll do to protect themselves the best they can. So it's pretty much that kind of film. Um, but that's about all I got on it. Like I said, it was it was decent, but I think it's going to take a few more watches for me to really understand this one and grasp it a lot more kind of thing. But uh, subscribe to Morgan Film Fan if you uh, like to listen to my voice or if you like my reviews. And uh, there will be a lot more coming. Um, next up is The Passion of Anna, I believe it's called. So looking forward to uh, checking that one out and seeing how that goes. And I will be reviewing it. So until next time, um, plenty more reviews to come, and I will chat later. So take care, and cheers.